Okay, so we're going to first look at our physical bare metal cluster. We have five worker nodes running talent. Uh, sorry, we have three worker nodes. In fact, they're all schedulable. Um, they, we have three control planes, two workers, and we have Sephrook. We will have a look at that any second. I'm going to run this primer that basically checks whether Kasten can run. We have a few uh, like warnings because of uh, PSP, so pod security policies. And what we're going to do is we're going to check whether the storage is configured correctly and that we have volume snapshot classes, um, storage classes, volume snapshots enabled, all of that good stuff from that CSI so that we can take a snapshot in a consistent fashion using Kasten, but equally be able to export that out into an S3 bucket or some location. So as you can see here, we're, we're spinning that up. We're spinning a, a primer pod in the default namespace and okay so we don't have a volume snapshot class on our rook ceph um file system we seem to have it on our nfs but that is um actually coming from a an old um like, sorry, it's coming from an old NAS device that I've got. It's nothing to do with the Rook Ceph cluster that I have on the nodes. Um, and you can see, yeah, okay, generic volume snapshot, but we're not going to get into that. I want to use volume snapshot class. So let's pause things here, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to run exactly the same thing after I've got that volume snapshot class in play. Okay, so we went away. We looked at the uh, documentation. We found the rbd snapshots there is also the ceph fs as well i similar um basically i took this my rook ceph cluster that i've created is in the default namespace so i took a copy of this i put that locally so i've got a copy of that i think you can deploy this as part of the helm i'm not going to get into that here though um from a from a custom point of view what do i need to do next if i go and quickly run that i will uh that will come back with the detail. But ultimately, I need to also annotate that um, that Ceph RBD. I need to the, the volume snapshot class I need to I need to annotate. So if we go back and have a look, we should see that our Ceph FS still has an error. Our NFS is still good. And the important one that we want is here, Rook Ceph RBD is it a CSI provisioner, does have a volume snapshot class, needs the K10 IO snapshot class annotation to true. So we're going to run this. Didn't find it because it's not called that. It's called uh, kubectl get volume snapshot class. And let's... So it's called rbd plugin hyphen snap class okay so let's clear that let's then run our curl command our primer just to confirm that everything is good looks good there you can see everything is a okay here and that's the one that we want to use actually we also want to just make that our i think Let's just do a kubectl get storage class and confirm that Ceph block is our default. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do a repo update because I want the Kasten latest and greatest. And if I go and look in our documentation and look at our release notes, you'll see that our latest is... 6.5.13 where we've got some new features that are ramping up to the 7.0 release that we released at Red Hat Summit um, and we should yep so let's do a simple um, let's just do a very very simple helm install with no additional helm chart values in terms of Helm chart values, you see, so there's a lot going on, right? So pod pod restriction or um, pod security policies are are in place. You can see here, um, and we'll get we'll get to that. 
but what we firstly want to confirm is that we can have Kasten up and running in here. So we'll be back shortly to to see hopefully everything in a running state. Okay, so we're all up and running. All the services, all the pods seem to be in a good state. So let me, before we dive into the dashboard, I want to quickly show what is it that we've, inst where have we installed this? So if we take a look at this this slide, um, this is a bare metal cluster. I have five, they're um, Dell Optiplex 7060s. They are Intel, I uh, are they i5, 8500s? They each have, I believe, 64 gig of ram they all have some nvme drives in there that are focused on that rook so you can see here that we have the rook and we what we've done here is we've just deployed um veeam Kasten for kubernetes so focusing on the protection of any other workloads that we put into our kubernetes cluster bearing in mind this is bare metal this is a playground a home lab where i can play around with with some cool stuff um so just to confirm that we're all up and running i've already started a, a port forward the idea would be later on that we're going to have um we've got cilium ingress actually already working so we can use our helm chart for Kasten to provide an ingress ip address so that we can just reach it on our network what i'm also working on is cert manager and let's encrypt and then the up the stack .io, um domain that i have as well so if we go over to this URL, we should start to get into that dashboard. And I think that's a good time to then come to the end of the video. And the next video will be diving into the dashboard and doing a very quick demo overview of what can we do in here, but equally, what can we then take to the to the, the CLI and what APIs are are available from a from a custom point of view within our Kubernetes cluster. So with that, layers.